Welcome to the Sunrage Safari Cross Country Rally from the beautiful Wentworth Shire in New South Wales. It's a stellar event in 2024 with a record field of motos and autos from across the nation and the globe. It's an event designed for two wheels and four, testing the skill and stamina of rider, driver and co-driver. It's a true test of man, woman and machine. There are state-of-the-art purpose-built cross-country monsters like the one Adam Kaplan's brought in after damaging his RX-7 last year. Yeah, well, you know the bonnet mod we did last year? We just sort of kept extending that concept and we came up with this. So this is a redlined Revo T1 Plus. So it's uh, sort of the open class at Dakar. Um, and uh, yeah, built in South Africa. Um, Nissan VK56, 5.6 litre V8 engine. Six speed sequential gearbox and uh, lots of nice safe bits. Does it come with the smile or is that something you've got as an optional extra? No, after you open your wallet and you pay for these things, you're crying for about two years. <laughs> so the smile's only just, just coming back. Could he take it to last year's winner, Tony Quinn, in the V8 Nissan Navara? Or perhaps Andrew Travis, who brought a gun to a gunfight last year, but just came up short needing more time to test. And with the year in between, that might just be the difference. We just refined a few things, we've changed tyres, changed brake pads. When you're building a new car, you always try and come back and you know, do things the second time. Sometimes it makes it a little bit uh, more refined, but uh, we're, we're happy, happy with it. Um, not, not vastly different, uh, just, a, just a little, little things to make it a bit more comfortable. We better not forget the Smith boys. Last year's moto champ Jake has teamed up with his brother Todd, who was auto runner-up in 2023. There are modified two-wheel drives and traditional four-wheel drives repowered with V8s. There is a vast array of production rally cars from a Leyland P76 to a Datsun 240Z. And who remembers the venerable Datsun Sunny? There's even one of those here for the first time, a period Japanese prepared rally car. In the age for weight stakes, Richard McNay fancies his chances and is taking this year's campaign very seriously, having started all five previous Sunraiser safaris. You can tell how seriously we take it. It's, it's, it this is uh, win or die to us. <laughs> and uh, as we can see, uh, unfortunately, some of us don't take it so seriously. We do our best, but we are struggling a little. <laughs> uh, in the past, uh, we have chatted with you on occasions where you've had problems with uh, axles. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've had problems with axles, problems with clutches, problems with navigators. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've been pretty lucky really. We finished five, four out of five, I think, so we're pretty lucky. Without Jake Smith, Toby Hedricks will be watching over his shoulder for any number of moto riders ready to take position one. There's a couple of newcomers, which is, which is always, always nice. So Brad, Bradley Greenfield's one of those. Um, you got Lukey Hayes, which unfortunately I think he might be a late withdrawal, but he's, he's there as well. Um, and yeah, plenty more behind them. There's 45 of them, so I'm sure there's amongst that there's more. But um, yeah, I'll just keep my head down, bum up and look forward. And it's going to be tricky out there uh, opening the tracks. So um, it's definitely a disadvantage to open, as we've found in previous years. So um, to, to think that I'm going to be out in front all week is a bit uh, unrealistic, but we'll just start, uh, yeah, be good practice and uh, see how we go. We might be missing our regular international Tony Rudder on his KTM 500, but in the Kiwi's place is Jun Han Ye, here to do what he can't do in his homeland. In Taiwan, my home country, there is no ride race. So I have to go, for example, I go to, I went to Thailand, Cairo, and Japan for ride race before. The first time to Australia to go for a ride race. At the 11th hour, last year's over 45 class winner Des Hogan is out with pneumonia, but his KTM 350 has been swapped for another, ridden by a very excited Brian Kozan. Well, he called me on Friday. I was uh, bolting the motor into my bike that I just rebuilt, and called me on Friday about 2 o'clock, asked if I wanted to ride. I said, sure shit, I want to ride. Oh, can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> so I've been running on adrenaline since Friday at about 2 o'clock. Got the bike together, made new wiring loom, pulled all my rally kit out. I did this in 2019, so pulled all the rally kit back out and started slapping everything together. I've been going all day, every day just to get here uh, last night, just in time to get the boys at Moto Tech to give me some fresh tires and mooses. And uh, now we're about to find out if I did a good job and if they're gonna let me ride. Somewhere between two wheels and four are the quads, but this year it's a quad, Victor's quad in fact, and he's got some special upgrades to take to the moto riders. 
We broke a swing arm last year and the year before, um, so I've brought in a chrome molly swing arm from the States from Welshcraft. Uh, they've built it for, for this. It's actually a spec off the Baja quads that they run over there for the Baja, so it's a plus one. Uh, we've got a new front end on it, a plus, a plus two. Um, so yeah, just trying to strengthen it up for that high speed bumps and that. So yeah, we just had the mild steel um, swing arm, it just kept cracking. So now we've put the chrome molly one in. So yeah, fingers crossed. It, it's going to be fun. It, um, the weather's held out for us and uh, there's a good feel to bikes. So, like I said, I love chasing the bikes down. Uh, they don't like it in pass by quite, I can tell you. And what I can tell you is all of the action begins in earnest tomorrow at 0700 when Victor will line up to chase the motos out of Wentworth. <laughs>